G'day, my name's Sean. I am one of the English speaking guides here, although I speak Australian, kind of the same. We're gonna talk about what you need to know to go rafting. The Notcha River is very continuous rapids. It's not super, super deep and there's lots of rocks. So we are gonna do everything we can to keep you in the raft. And we're gonna show you how right now. So when you sit in the raft, you've got these foot cups. You can stick one foot in the cup, one foot under the, the cross tube or in the front of the raft, you have the two cups. And with these, you're really solid inside the raft. Okay, that helps you a lot. But lots of the times we'll get you to hold on as well. So if we say stop, it means stop paddling, hold the rope and lean to the middle of the boat. That keeps you really secure in the boat. And in the big rapids, we'll yell out, get down, which looks like this. You crouch down on the floor, keep hold of the side rope. You're reaching in front of your paddle or over your paddle so that it can't go across the raft and hit someone else. Like that. All right, so that's how you stay in the raft. When you're paddling, you use your whole body to paddle. Okay, so you reach forward with your arms straight and then you lean back. Reach forward, lean back. Now that's forward paddle. Back paddling, again, you want to use your whole body. Twist, put the paddle on your hip and twist to get the power. You can see I'm not actually using my arms. They're hardly moving. So that's how you get power. You've got forwards, backwards, stop and get down. Sometimes if the raft's going sideways into a big rock, we have to move our weight across the raft. So we'll call out jump left or jump right. So it's really important when you move across the raft that you always keep hold of the T-grip. Always in the raft, you're keeping hold of the T-grip. You don't want to wave this thing around inside the raft because it'll take out someone's teeth. So if the guide says jump right, you let go of the middle of the paddle, dive across, grab the rope. You're lying on your partner's lap, okay? You're lying on their legs, you're holding them in the raft and you've got the rope to keep you safe. Back in position. That just means getting ready to paddle, but not just blindly paddling forward. On the way down the river, we are really relying on you guys as the crew to move the raft where we need to. And if one person doesn't hear the command and does something different, it makes quite a difference to where the raft goes. So when we're paddling forward, we all paddle together at the same time and the raft surges forward with every stroke. If you paddle out of time, the raft wiggles forward and you're wasting your energy and it's really hard to control as a guide. That's what you need to know inside the raft. Now we'll talk about what you need for outside the raft. Life jacket, four buckles. The bottom one is actually the most important and the hardest to see when you do it up. Do up all four buckles, but that's not enough because now it's still loose and we don't want to be swimming like this. Okay, so you'll need to get a friend to help you tighten the straps on both sides so that when you pull on the shoulders, it doesn't move. This can be very important when we go to rescue somebody and if you fall in. The helmet adjusts at the back here, makes it bigger or smaller. Now, I've managed to fall in. My life jacket and my wetsuit, that I'm not wearing at the moment because it's really hot, your life jacket and your wetsuit float you really well. You're probably holding onto the raft already. So you give your paddle to someone in the raft and they are gonna pull you in. The way that works is whoever is closest in the raft stands up, put their knees on the side of the raft, grabs the shoulders of the life jacket and just leans back, okay? You can pull someone in really easily. It's not a lift, it's just a pull. So it's super easy to do. It's really important that anybody who is close pulls a, a swimmer back into the raft because the guide is busy steering through the rapids. If someone happens to be a bit further away, you can reach your paddle out to them. And say, hey, grab the paddle. Pull them to the side and then pull them in. If they're even further away, they've got two choices. Well, one choice really. The best choice is to swim back to your raft. On your stomach, swimming. The river's quite shallow, okay? So we don't want you to try and stand up. We want you to swim hard towards the closest raft. It's probably your raft, but have a look around. It could be another raft. If you're even further away, occasionally, we might use the throw rope and say, hey, catch the rope. When it comes to you, just grab the rope in two hands, lie on your back with your feet up on the surface and we'll pull you back. Anyone got any questions? Perfetto. So that's everything you need to know. It's kind of like the safety talk on an aeroplane where it's unlikely to happen. In the whole season here, I think I had three people fall out of the raft. We try really hard for it not to happen, but if it does happen, you need to know what to do. Has anyone got any questions about all, any of that? Otherwise, we'll see you when you come here to go rafting. Trentino Wild.